What would Einstein do? Good afternoon. Thursday afternoon before the first week of classes. And I've got a teacher's meeting heading across campus. Nice hike. I've been uh, preparing for weeks now on my public speaking and debate class, and that is shaping up nicely. And then suddenly I get thrown a new class to teach. I'm gonna be teaching advanced English for honor students, which will be great. The only issue now is that I have to figure out what the curriculum is, read the book, figure out how to teach it, and do that all before Monday. Well, that's not true. Teacher's trick. All you have to do is teach a Monday's class and then figure it out later. It's an interesting scene here on campus. I had to fight through a throng of students to get onto the campus and yet almost nobody's here. Yesterday was the first day students could move into the dorms and today they're really coming through the gates. Let me show you. I'm really excited to get a look at my new students. I say it's advanced English, but really they're advanced students who need English. This summer, they've taken their classes, classical mechanics and uh, optics and quantum physics in English. The students presumably are the hand-picked best who go on to study abroad, get their masters somewhere. I noticed in the curriculum that there's TOEFL and IELTS teaching, so they clearly are on a track to do something great. Presumably they're on a track to study abroad for their masters or PhDs, and I guess it's my job to get them up to snuff in English. That's a nice challenge. Normally this time of year, this field is packed 
with students acting as soldiers for their three-week military training. A word about getting a new class this late before the semester. This is nothing. When I was at Southern Illinois University's intensive English program, we would regularly not learn what we're teaching Monday until Saturday and sometimes even Sunday night. That's just normal life of a teacher. It looks like picture time. <laughs> this is China. Somebody fishing on the university campus with construction noises behind them. I love it. I get the feeling that the start of a new school year is not going to bother these folks too much. All right, I've arrived. Time for my meeting. Wow, this is new. Something you don't see every day in a Chinese university restroom. Okay, meeting over. It was a productive meeting. In the end though, it was basically blah, blah, blah. Have to take another COVID test, blah, blah, blah and the cleaning of the dorm rooms begins. That's right, I'm watching you, watching me. Hi. Okay, back home, freshly showered, AC on. It was a, it was a really good day. I was, I was kind of kidding about the meeting. Yeah, all meetings are, are blah, 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 right? But I'm so happy it was a face-to-face -face meeting. And then the COVID test, we're gonna take that Monday on campus. Everybody's gonna take it. They are gonna set up stations at all the gymnasiums and uh, stadiums, maybe a couple other places. And so again, you know, it's my nature to worry that they're gonna find some reason to make us teach online again but um, I'm really excited. Students are back. I've got my classes. I'm ready to go. And now I'm just, you know, waiting and happy. All right, I'm gonna end the video now. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have a comment, please drop it below. Press the like button and share this video. I really appreciate that. And if you haven't already, subscribe. All right, I'll catch you next time. Bye.